Oh, I needed that. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. I'm very excited about this video. This is one of those videos that I have watched for years and was always one that I, you know, I'd religiously watch the same person on YouTube do this every single month. So as you can tell from the title, today we're doing our January favourites. Buzzing. Would love to do these every month. I've I don't buy a lot of things every month and I feel like that's how favourites work best is if you do consume a lot of things you try new things and then you get to tell people about them so we will see but that is my plan with these videos so they will go up in the first week of the following month so I give myself a full month <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna do a mixture of things purely for the fact that I'm a person who loves a mixture of things lifestyle, beauty, fashion all of that kind of stuff so i hope you like those things too maybe find some new things that you could try out i don't know and we're just gonna dive straight into it so we'll start with a couple of the first things that are a bit lifestyle-y so this mug if you follow me on instagram you've seen it you've already seen me talk about it a million times but <laughs> we went to asda on a late night trip and i'm a big fan of a rainbow in case you couldn't tell we'd gone there just to get some food and i saw this mug and it was like one pound fifty i was like definitely coming home with me it's such a nice size if you like mugs you'll know that this is relevant it's a really good size it it's like a nice size to hold the handle's a nice size and it is so cute i messaged my best friend about it she went and bought the same thing so now we have matching mugs which makes it 10 times cuter but yeah if you have an asda near you 10 out of 10 would recommend um this is kind of like a fashion-y favorite but it's here right now this scrunchie one of my beautiful friends um and her cousin i believe own a hair accessory brand in wales they're a small business and they are doing so well their bits are beautiful they're called kiana tierney I did have to ask her how to say that. You can definitely check them out on Instagram. I'll try and put it on the screen somewhere. But I kid you not, if this scrunchie isn't in my hair, it's on my wrist. I literally wear it every single day since I got it. And I love it. Like the colour, it's like, um, it's not picking up very well. It's like a champagne pinky kind of colour. And it is so, so beautiful. It's so comfortable. It doesn't leave kinks in my hair. It like feels really soft and silky and nice and their prices are so so good and i'd much rather buy like my hair accessories from them than say go to primark and buy some so beautiful and such good quality i've absolutely loved it this month and i'm sure i will continue to love it for every month afterwards right the next thing if you watch my vlogs you will probably know that I am trying to read a book a month this year. I'm a big reader, but I don't read very quickly. So I'm trying to challenge myself to a book a month. Anyway, this month I finished Where the Crawdads Sing. I put a little review on my Instagram. So if you do want to see that, check it out. But overall thoughts was it took me ages to get into, but I loved the ending of this book. Like absolutely 100% loved so for that reason it is a favorite it's a weird one i until about halfway through i probably would have said to people it's not worth the hype don't read it but if you can push past oh my goodness i loved it like it just had so much in it that i've never seen in any other book and yeah the ending just wowed me if you can get your hands on it or if you're a friend you can borrow it if you want i tried to explain it to my in-laws last night and I did not do a very good job. It's a, it's a bit of a tricky one. I think it's got a mix of things because it's not like a crime, but it's not a romance. Like I, I couldn't put my finger on this book. If you've read it, let me know what you would class this as because I don't have a clue. But yeah, definitely a good book. And I'm very excited to start my next book for this month. So follow my vlogs if you want to know what I'm reading from February. 
Um, another little lifestyle thing, again if you watch the vlogs, sorry, I weekly vlog so you've probably already seen all these things I'm going to talk about, but if you did watch the vlog, and that same as the trip where I bought my mug, me and Noah bought some tea. Now, I'm a British gal, I love a brew, and uh, I'd seen a couple of people talking about the Yorkshire teas, like their different flavours, and this one is the biscuit tea. I did buy bedtime as well, and I don't dislike it, it's just not wowed my socks off. Whereas this is incredible. I recently stopped taking sugar in my tea, and I just went cold turkey, I just took it out. And I feel like this is perfect if you like something a little bit sweeter than just a tea, but don't want to put sugar in it. This is amazing. And I thought they were going to be so much more expensive, I think this was... Oh, I don't even know what I'm trying to guess now. Maybe two pounds, maybe just under two pounds. No, it must have been under. But you get 40 tea bags and it's delicious. And I have one at least once a day, a normal tea. So I would recommend they are worth the hype. The last thing before I get into kind of like makeup and fashion is my 2021 planner um i love a physical planner i know i can do it online but i just prefer writing stuff down this one is the box clever press um planner they do have different names i'm not sure which one this is it's such a nice size it's super thin which is great because when we do go out in the real world i do like to take it with me um let me just get to a page that i've not written in yet so it's got a monthly spread and then it has like your goals and plans, a bill tracker and then it does the weeks in columns. There's loads of space. Um, the only thing I would say is there are a lot of lines in this so if you like a bit more of a free flowing thing this might not work for you but um, price wise it was one of the cheapest I found. Um, it's one of the only ones in stock as well and I just think it's really cute it's kept me really organized um, I like that you can write goals and things like that rather than just things that you are going to do um, it's like a nice space within it to actually plan for the month ahead which I've struggled with with other planners so I do really like this and um, I know we're at the end of January but if you do need to get one I would recommend this brand Okay, I have one fashion favourite of this month, um, I did think I'll show you but I'm not going to be able to hold it up so I'm going to insert a picture on the screen um, because then you can see me wearing it. But basically I bought a teddy coat super late on that one. When they first came out years ago I was like no I'm not going to get one so I got a similar kind of vibe but not the same thing and ever since then I've wanted the same thing as everybody else has so it's slightly different maybe but yeah I bought a teddy coat from Brave Soul on ASOS um, it was reduced which is the only reason I went for that one um, I love the colour it's the softest thing I have ever bought in my entire life and I have worn it every time we leave the house which is for our one walk a day how exciting but yeah that is definite favorite this month um and probably what you're all here for we'll get on to the beauty bits again i'm really sorry if you do watch my weekly vlogs or my videos you probably know what these products are i will try and get better at in the months to keep some things a secret um the first thing I want to talk about though is the Ordinary Serum Foundation. Now I actually bought this back um, in the summer and I loved it back then um, and then over winter I was using a mixture of foundations so I've been using Wet n Wild and Maybelline and um, my Ordinary Serum Foundation started to run out and for me, the real test if I love something is if I rebuy it. For me, this one is an amazing price point. Obviously, The Ordinary is super affordable. Um, they do loads of shades. As far as I could tell, um, I mainly obviously look for paler shades, so I don't um, expand that way. But as far as I'm aware, they do have a good shade range. I'm sorry if they don't, and I got that wrong. Um, this one is a serum foundation so they do a full coverage and a serum 
and I would say that the serum it is so thin on your face it feels so smooth and so nice it feels like you're putting a skincare product on and it's not heavy but you can build it up like I get some really good coverage with this like I have a lot of red marks on my face right now and you can see them but it's not like that bad at all even though this is light coverage i'm not a massive light coverage girl so i really like this the pump's good the only thing i would say is it gets a bit messy but it is what it is it's such a good size really really nice product the second thing another face product which is nice is the revolution conceal and define infinite um, my brother's girlfriend bought me this for my birthday, so I've been literally using it for a month. This is in C3.5. Um, it's so full coverage. It's really nice. Not a lot to say about it other than the fact it is just, yeah, super full coverage if you like that kind of thing. And I think it feels really nice on my skin. And the last favourite, which is a recent favourite, definitely end of the month, is the uh, NYX suede matte lip liner in sandstorm i have got it on today it's kind of like um it's like an orangey brown that pulls a little bit more neutral than orange these are very comfortable i think this was like four pounds it's super cheap and yeah like i really love the color of it and i think i'll probably wear it every day of my life now they are all my favorites this month i'm gonna finish my tea now in my favorite mug ever um i really hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments some of your favorites this month and maybe i could try them out in february but yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye guys